growth opportunities, emerging technologies, new business models, and companies to action across all industries. Frost and Sullivan. I'd like to know, Dan, uh, how's uh, the state of automotive grade Linux in 2019? Ah, well, first of all, 2018 was a fantastic year for us in terms of growth. We just announced last week that Hyundai has joined AGL, uh, which is super important because that extends our growth to uh, South Korea, which is a, a new, you know, new market for us in terms of open source uh, deployments. But um, uh, we now have nine OEMs and we'll be uh, hopefully announcing a 10th one very soon, which I can't disclose, but that'll be pretty cool. Uh, but overall, also on the software side, uh, we did two releases in the past year. Uh, we do two releases a year uh, in terms of the open source part of the project, which is the most important thing. We're all about being code first at Automotive Grade Linux. Everything we do is about generating code for the industry, and uh, that part uh, is doing really, really well. And more importantly is, uh, we released for the first time uh, two new solutions. So we've been doing infotainment uh, for several years now, for four years. Uh, we also uh, introduced a solution for instrument cluster and for heads-up display. Uh, we also have uh, you know several million vehicles now on the road with the Toyota Camry, the RAV4, which is in our booth here at CES, and uh, many other uh, Toyota and Lexus vehicles to follow. That's right. Yeah. We have a huge variety of partners here. How's CES yeah. going for you this year? Yeah, CES has been tremendous. So we, we, this is our third year at CES. The first year was a very small presence. The second year we had a ballroom. And this year we have a real 2,500 square foot booth. So we're really happy. But also we have, we have 16 different companies showing demos of their products and services that run or use AGL. And what astonishes me and, and really makes me smile is that we, when we developed AGL, we thought, you know, we're going to use this for infotainment. Um, but what we've actually seen is that when you produce something like AGL and it's open source and people can use it in all sorts of different ways, um, they use it in ways we never imagined. So you look around the booth today, you have companies that are doing security for automotive. You have companies that are doing real-time he software health monitoring using artificial intelligence. Behind me, you have... Uh, uh, companies doing uh, autonomous driving and autonomous driving simulators using AGL. It's just the variety of, of, of solutions that are coming out supporting AGL is really impressive, and, that, and that's what you know makes makes me really proud of this project. Yeah. So AGL's been around for four years now and seen some great momentum. Uh, where do you see AGL in ten years? Yeah. So I mean, uh, I'll make a bold statement. I think in ten years we will have a significant market share. Probably over fifty percent of the cars on the road will be uh, AGL. Um, we're actually this year, and this is is uh, a bit of a uh, preview. <laughs> I haven't talked to anyone about this yet. Uh, we're going to be starting on our autonomous dri uh, driving platform and uh, ADAS. And uh, this autonomous driving platform, what we're planning is we're going to have um, we're going to use real time Linux. We're going to have support for the major uh, LiDAR, radar, camera sensors uh, manufacturers out there, so the device drivers for those things. And then we're going to have open CV for visualization. This is to you know, uh, see where the car is going and all that and make, you know, make some AI decisions. And then we're probably going to have some kind of open source AI. And we're planning to bring that entire platform to functional safety uh, certification standards. Um, and we're going to leverage two other projects at Linux, Fund Linux Foundation. One is there is a project called Real-Time Linux. They're doing real-time for Linux. We're going to leverage all that. There's another project uh, called ELISA, which is doing functional safety for Linux for things like uh, nuclear power plants, uh, trains, things like that. But automotive is one of them. We're going to leverage all that work as well. So being all there on, under one roof at Linux Foundation has huge advantages. I believe will be a great platform for companies to start doing all of their R&D uh, and the big differentiator is that uh, when we achieve functional, sa functional safety for that platform, it'll be a big differentiator, and I think we can attract a lot of the companies that are doing R&D. Uh, they'll want to use a platform that is supported long term, has the features they need, and is you know, and is developed by a community. Meaning that if Toyota or Honda finds a bug, they give us the bug fix, and then Mazda and Mercedes get the bug fix. You know, so this community effort of development is what. AGL is all about.